we have won this election in Georgia based on all of this. And there's there's nothing wrong with with saying that, Brad. You know, I mean, having the having a correct you, the people of Georgia are angry, and these numbers are going to be repeated on Monday night, along with others that we're going to have by that time, which are much more substantial even. And the people of Georgia are angry. The people of the country are angry. And there's nothing wrong with saying that, you know, uh, that you've recalculated. Well, Mr. President, the challenge that you have is the data you have is wrong. Now, do you think it's possible that they uh, shredded ballots in uh, Fulton County? Because that's what the rumor is. And also that Dominion took out machines. Uh, that Dominion is really moving fast to get rid of their uh, machinery. Do you know anything about that? Because that's illegal. No, Ryan, Germany. No, Dominion has not um, moved any machinery out of Fulton County. We're having. Well, but no, but, but have they moved? Have they have they moved the inner parts of the machines and replaced them with other parts? No. Are you sure, Ryan? I'm sure. You should want to have an accurate election, and you're a Republican. We believe that we do have an accurate election. No, I no, you don't. No, no, you don't. You don't have. You don't have. Not even close. You got. You're off by hundreds of thousands of votes. You know what they did, and you're not reporting it. That's a. You know that's a criminal. That's a criminal offense. And and you know you can't let that happen. That's that's a big risk to you and to Ryan. Your lawyer, that's a big risk. But they are shredding ballots, in my opinion, based on what I've heard, and they are removing machinery, uh, and they're moving it as fast as they can, both of which are criminal fines, and you can't let it happen, and you are letting it happen. You know, I mean, I'm notifying you that you're letting it happen. So, look, all I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,000... 780 votes, which is one more than we have, because we won the state. So so tell me, Brad, what are we going to do? We won the election, and it's not fair to take it away from us like this. And it's going to be very costly in many ways. And I think you have to say that you're going to reexamine it, and you can reexamine it, but, but reexamine it with people that want to find answers, not people that don't want to find answers. Uh, for instance, I'm hearing Ryan, and he's probably, I'm sure, a great lawyer and everything, but he's making statements about those ballots that he doesn't know. But he's making them with such, he, he did make them with surety, but now I think he's less sure, because the answer is they all went to Biden. And that alone wins us the election by a lot. You know, so. Mr. President, uh, you have people that submit information, and we have our people that submit information, and then it comes before the court, and the court then has to make a determination. We have to stand by our numbers. We believe our numbers are right. Well, under law, you're not allowed to give faulty election results, okay? You're not allowed to do that, and that's what you've done. This is a faulty election result, and honestly, this should go very fast. You should meet tomorrow because you have a big election election coming up. And because of what you've done to the president, you know, the people of, of uh, Georgia know that this was a scam. And because of what you've done to the president, a lot of people aren't going out to vote. And a lot of Republicans are going to vote negative because they hate what you did to the president. OK, they hate it. And they're going to vote. And if you would be respected, if really respected, if this thing could be straightened out. Before the election, you have a big election coming up on Tuesday.